Hey everyone, in this video I'm super excited to announce the winners of my guitar giveaway contest. Now there are over 214 entries in this contest. These are videos people submitted from around the world playing guitar and, and telling me why they would like my personal instrument. Remember I'm giving away my $2,000 personal classical guitar with a totally lovely sound. That's going to go to the first place winner, the person I choose, who I think really deserves the instrument. Then we have another prize. This is a prize for the most upvotes. That person will win a free pack of lessons at my online music school, Arpeggiato. And then the third prize is the Musicality Award, which will go to the person that I feel has the most potential for sort of emoting through the instrument, pouring emotion through the guitar. That person will get free access to my online course, Classical Guitar Pro. Okay, there are 214 videos. I have the computer here, I have my headphones, let's start watching. Okay, let's start with the prize that goes to the person with the most upvotes and with 715 votes. Looks like Juan is the winner. Let's listen to his video. Hi, uh, my name is Juan Leal and I am from Monterrey, Mexico. I am 15 years old and I have been playing classical guitar for about four years. Nice. Juan's got a great posture. He's got lots of experience playing guitar. Looks like he's playing a Cordoba guitar. He's really good at those runs. Those very high runs are difficult, and he did a nice job with it. This is so cool. Juan, you're doing so many things really well already. It's clear that you're you're really experienced on the instrument. You find it's very easy to go up and down the fretboard. Uh, you're making a nice tone. You have good posture. That's fantastic. And I do see some room for improvement here, Juan. Uh, your interpretation and technique already look quite good, but there is still room to grow, which is perfect because now you have a free pack of lessons at my online school. So just pick a teacher of your choosing and you'll have four hours with them. Congratulations, Juan. Okay, let's watch some more videos. There are two more prizes to give out. The person who got the next most votes with 586 is Elijah, who's eight. Oh my god, an eight-year-old playing classical guitar. It's a very difficult instrument, you guys. Just to, to play that instrument at my eight is difficult. My name is Elijah Mercado, and I am eight years old. Hi, Elijah. I'm in Kenville, Illinois, and I've been playing for like about three months. That's and, nothing, three months. Uh, and I really think you are an inspiration to me. <laughs> And I feel like you're really good and I want to become like you as good as you one day. You're very kind, Elijah. You're going to be better than me one day, I'm sure. If you're about to play so classical guitar at eight. Snowflight. Okay, he's going to play Snowflight. Hey, look at that. Already I can say, I started playing classical guitar when I was 11. If you can play this after three months when you're eight, <laughs> this kid's going to take my job. got a great start to finger style. His left hand looks really good. Look, he's got a straight wrist in his left hand, really curled fingers playing on the tips. Great posture. Hey, <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Thank you, Elijah. That was awesome. Congratulations on getting second place in the upvotes. That's fantastic. You're an inspiration to me, Elijah. That is so great. Keep it up. I'm going to keep watching some more videos. Now let's see who got in third place. Wow, another another very young guy. 13 years old. Hi, My name is Levante and I come from Hungary from Europe. I'm 12 wow. years old. 12. I have been learning to play the classical guitar for three years now. My favorite composers are Tarega, Barrios and Chopin. Uh, good choices. I would like to continue my education in a music conservatory. I really like your channel because I like the topics you make and uh, I can learn a lot from them. 
<laughs> the piece I would like to perform is also by Taraga, called Lagrima. Oh, wonderful. Lagrima. It means teardrop. Wow. Th Twelve years old. It's a beautiful sound. Twelve. I started when I was eleven. I think I didn't sound like this until I was sixteen. <laughs> well, actually, I started I started classical guitar when I was sixteen, so not even. <laughs> wow, he's got dynamics. He's playing with volume control, crescendos, decrescendos. Look at that, just how he pulled back at the end there to play the E major chord a little softer. Uh, now a brighter, more passionate sound. Oh my God. See how he's changing where he plucks with his right hand? He's doing that to change the tamper, to change the, change the quality of the sound. Very nice endings. He always ends very softly. It's very, very beautiful. And then super sweet. This gets great. <laughs> that was so nice to watch. I I think I'm going to pronounce your name wrong. I want to hear you say it again. Levent? Levente. Levente. Levente, that was great. Thank you so much for taking the time to submit that. You are playing so beautifully already. Uh, your technique is, is surprisingly good. Uh, and your touch on the instrument emotionally is very impressive. So we might have to come back to you. I'm going to keep watching for now. But congratulations, Levente. You are doing so well. I am losing daylight, but may I ask for your guitar's hand in marriage? <laughs> Hi, my name is Heidi. I love your videos. That's a first. No one's ever asked for my guitar's hand in marriage, Heidi, but I don't know. Maybe my guitar will say yes. Okay, here's one from Sasha. Hi, my name is Sasha. I'm from Ukraine, Kharkiv. Because of the war, we moved to Germany. I'm 15 years old oh my and God. I've been playing guitar for two years. I've had 11 lessons with the teacher, but apart from that, I'm self-taught. I play classical guitar and fingerstyle. I broke my own classical guitar from Ukraine, so the one I'll be playing on is borrowed. Uh, that's partially why I would love to win Brandon's guitar. But you broke your classical I... guitar from Ukraine, <laughs> and, you're, and you had to seek asylum, I guess, uh, during the war. Oh my God. Well, first off, sorry, Sasha, that sounds uh, very traumatic, and um, I hope uh, you and your family are, are doing okay. Um, that's very rough. I've been watching him for a year already. Since I'm under 18 years old, it isn't important to know that my father gave me permission to participate in this contest. Yeah. Oh, cool. He's doing a bit of percussion. Fingers off percussion at the same time. He's playing a bass line. Boom, beep, boom, bump. And doing the percussion and the melody. This is a guitar he borrowed because this is broken. Wow. Slash has got impeccable posture. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who's submitted a video so far has got an amazing posture. Nice. This is impressive playing. Ah, now he's got like a, a kick and a snare. He's doing that with his wrist. He's a whole band on one guitar. <laughs> nice. This is very cool. I 
I wonder if he made this arrangement himself. <laughs> hey, yeah. Sasha, wow. Dude, your, your story uh, is getting to me. It's uh, really moving. Uh, I can't imagine what you've been going through, and you're a killer guitar player. And if you made that arrangement, that's like super, super impressive. Okay, might have to come back to you, Sasha. I'm going to keep watching for now, but that was really uh, moving to me, your story. Uh, and of course, then, then you played super well. And your, your guitar got broken, and you had to borrow a guitar just to play this video. Um, okay, I'm going to keep watching, but I, you're, you're in my mind, Sasha. Hello. I'm Halil Kesar. I attended to this contest from Mula, Turkey. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wow. 17 years old. I think it's like that. Amazing timbre, tone, and musicality. Yeah, he sounds like a professional player. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Beautiful rubato on the end there. He's doing so many advanced things. That was so impressive, guys. Uh, Halil is killing it. Um, definitely the most impressive performance uh, that I've watched so far. I mean, uh, Halil has got the technique, the musicality. He, he sounds like a professional player. Halil, you're, you're, you're doing so great. Uh, keep up the amazing playing. Okay, let's try another one. This one's from Abby. Hello, my name is Abby Grittinger, and I've been playing classical guitar for several years. Great. Whether or not I win, thank you for giving everyone the chance to participate in this competition. You're very kind, Abby. The piece Abby. I'll be playing for you is Cancion del Emperador by Luis de Narvaez. Yeah, fantastic piece. She's playing on another one of these Cordoba guitars. That's a nice uh, budget guitar. If you don't have uh, quite the budget to, to buy a professional instrument, it's a good, um, a good buy to, to start playing. such a beautiful piece. It's Cantillon del Emperador is uh, the emperor's favorite tune, actually called Mille Regrets. It's a, a million, or I think it's a thousand regrets. She has a capo because it's originally for uh, Vuela, I believe, which is tuned in G. She's doing a nice job with it. This piece is so moving for me. I, I've always loved playing it and listening to it. Great job, Abby. Keep up the playing and best of luck with your studies. Hello. My <laughs> well, name is Josh. Check out the bird. I'm joined today by my bird, Gizmo. <laughs> may or may not stay. Hey, Josh and Gizmo. I am 29 years old. And I've been playing guitar for <laughs> just over 16 years now. In fact, I've spent most of the past 16 years playing fingerstyle and classical guitar. And one of my favorite things to do on this instrument oh, goodbye, is bird. to bridge the gap between classical and contemporary music by making my own arrangements of familiar songs. <laughs> It's a really good arrangement. Looks very idiomatic to the guitar, fits perfectly on the instrument, and the duet with your birds is priceless. <laughs> Keep up the great playing, Joshua. This is really, really nice. Here's Shay. Hi there. Uh, my name is Hi. Shay. Uh, I'm 26. Um, I play on a Cordoba C3M, and I'm going to be performing... Cordobas are a good budget guitar. Uh, playing Lacrimosa. Lacrimosa, the Mozart? Yes, wow. He's playing uh, the Lacrimosa from the Mozart Requiem, which is an incredible piece. Wow, it's a very difficult piece. 
piece to play on the guitar. It's very polyphonic so with the choir. Keep up the great playing, Shay. Let's keep going for now. Hello, my name is Josh Forbes. I've been playing classical guitar since I was a freshman in university 14 years ago. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel called Josh Forbes Guitar, where I do video game arrangements as well as a bi-weekly community practice series. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm currently an English teacher, and I just channel. had my first son five months ago. Oh, uh, and after the birth of my son, it made me really think uh, that teaching is not what I want to be doing. Uh, so I thought with a lot of hard work, a lot of practice, and a lot of time, I could do YouTube. Wait, let's pause it there. Josh is a new dad. He wants to be a YouTuber. Uh, the least we can do, the least I can do, is recommend you guys head over to Josh's channel. His name is Josh Forbes on YouTube, and go subscribe. Today, I'm going to be playing my own arrangement of the RuneScape theme song. I hope you enjoy. Oh, wow. Okay, impressive technique. Look at his left hand. Perfectly balanced, very difficult chord, and yet he makes it look easy. You guys, you, you're, all, you're all killing it. It's so fun to watch. So this is a theme from a video game called RuneScape. Not a guitar piece. He fit it on the guitar, he arranged it. This is so hard to do. The last person with uh, La Cremosa as well was really surprisingly well done. This is even better. I mean, this is uh, really clever. And this guy's technique is flawless. Look how, he, look how relaxed he looks. Look at his right hand. Look, it looks like it's barely moving. It's that beautiful phrase, economy of motion, which means you're not exhausting more motion. Uh, motion, excuse me, not emotion. You're not exhausting more motion than you need. You just do the bare minimum to get the sound, but then to preserve or conserve your energy. Look at his hands, he looks so efficient. And he's got a lot of imagination to distill such a large piece. I, I can imagine this is for orchestra. Still, you're not to the guitar. It's not not easy. Well, I'm a huge fan of the sound you're making, your arrangement skills, Josh. Let's watch the end of this. Nice vibrato. Yeah, you guys, Josh is doing a great job. Go subscribe. Okay, let's keep moving here. Hi, Brandon. My name is Margie Constantino. I'm 70 years old. Hi, Margie. About nine months ago, I decided I wanted to learn classical guitar. I'm currently playing it on an acoustical instrument, and for that reason, I would love to have your guitar. Very sweet, Margie. And she sounds great. Margie, you sound lovely. I'm so glad you decided to start playing classical. Keep it up and best wishes to you. Okay, let's move on. Uh, hi there. My name is Kumbu Munsaka. I'm 20 hi, years old and I'm from Zambia. Um, I like to win Brendan's guitar because, well, uh, for starters, it's a nice guitar. It's luthier made and as far as I know, there are no luthiers in Zambia. So oh, I know that. if I were to win it, it would be the only luthier guitar in Zambia, as far as I know. Wow. So, um, what's interesting is that the guitar I used in the recording wasn't actually mine. It was from, I borrowed it from a friend because mine was unavailable at the time. Hmm. So, it would be nice to win it, but it's been, it's been a fun experience taking part in this. Oh, I'm looking forward to you, you playing Kabo. Here comes the sun by the Beatles. Kumo's obviously got talent, guys. It's fancy finger work he's doing there. And I really like these these finger style arrangements of Beatles tunes. They sound great. Huh. 
<laughs> nice ending, Kimbo. I really enjoyed that. Thank you for sharing. Oh man, I've only finished watching the videos on the first page and it's taken me like an hour. <laughs> um, I'm gonna watch every video. I, I apologize if I don't feature your video uh, in the actual YouTube video that I make, um, but trust me, I've, I'm watching every single one. Hi, I'm Eric Iskovich. I'm a singer-songwriter. Ah, good old Asterius. Well, it's one of the most famous classical tar pieces. It's not actually a classical tar piece. <laughs> it was originally written for the piano. Zach Galbenith was a pianist. He was clearly channeling the guitar here. He, he wanted to make it sound like a guitar, especially in this next part with the rum strums. But actually, apparently, he eventually said it sounded better on guitar. <laughs> Sounds like there's a like a, an effect on the guitar. I'm not used to hearing that with classical. But you're handling it very well, Eric. Oh, there's the strummy part. <laughs> it's an awesome piece. My name is Joshua Sanchez, and I'm a self-taught guitarist who's been playing for 10 years. Hey, Joshua. I play many instruments, but I enjoy expressing my passion for music using the guitar more than any others. Aha, he's going to play Koyin Baba. It's a Turkish-inspired piece by Dominikoni. It's one of the first pieces I played that took very seriously and loved it. Really, it's really a beautiful uh, piece and, and, and perfect for, you know, being imaginative, creative on the instrument. Uses an amazing open C sharp minor tuning. This is very lovely. I'm just going to skip to the fourth movement to show you how fun this is. <laughs> All the pull offs here. Yeah. on the guitar. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Joshua is the man. Keep up the awesome playing, Joshua. patterns are great. I mean, you can hear her crystal clear rhythm, bum, 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 bum. It's like so, so well um, uh, conceived in the right hand. Your your right hand has to be like a drum when you play that music because it's really, you know, percussive and, and rhythmic, uh, rhythmically driven. Uh, Nishoni, I think it's how, how you pronounce your name. Keep up the great playing and uh, I wish you the best of luck with your mariachi playing. Ah, the classic. Brower piece, Un Dia de Noviembre, the day in November. Great intermediate piece because it's not super challenging to play, especially the first section, but very beautiful and ripe for musicality. She's playing a, a, a budget Yamaha guitar. And is very good at timing. She's doing a lot of beautiful rubato. The piece is actually written bum, pop, 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 one and two and the entire thing. But if you listen, she takes time. Two and three and bum, wait. And then she keeps going. This is Rubato, the art of stealing time. And for her age, she's 16. <laughs> nice artificial harmonic. 16 doing tasteful Rubato. Just so you understand, the normal way would be three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one. That's how it's written. And if you listen to her play, you'll hear all sorts of pushing and pulling. Either body dee da ba da da dum pee da. 
She'll take time at a really uh, a dissonant moment that requires a bit more attention. And then she'll phrase from there as if she's breathing with the music, which is what we should be doing. Wow, Anna, I'm super moved by your performance. I find uh, your rubato so clever, your touch on the instrument. I'm not sure how you can do that so well at 16. Uh, I started playing classical around 16, uh, and I think it took me a lot longer to find the same level of, of fluency and sort of a natural uh, rubato like you found there. So, hmm, you're doing very well. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe we need to, I'll keep you in my, in my mind here as I'm thinking about prizes. Ah, it's William Rivera. William is one of their Arcachato students in the online music school. Yeah. Flamenco is so great. I always wanted to play flamenco and never really, uh, well, it's a different style that requires a different technique, different lifetime for me. <laughs> but I've always been fascinated by it. William, I'm so happy you're taking lessons with Samuel. I really hope you're enjoying it. And it looks like they're working well because this is sounding really nice. Hamron's pull offs. Oh, Lady William, it's so nice to watch you play. Uh, thank you so much for sharing and for being a part of our Pajanto. Oh, wow. Uh, this was really overwhelming to watch 214 of you who I feel like I know now. Uh, thank you to each of you who took the time to send in a video. This was really heartwarming for me to watch. I have to admit this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I wish I had 214 guitars to give away to each one of you. <laughs> so far you know that the second prize is going to Juan, who is in Mexico and played a beautiful Capricho Arabe. He got the most upvotes with 715 and will be getting a free pack of lessons to my online school, Arpeggiato. For the third prize, the Musicality Award, I am totally torn because there's two of you who just kind of warmed my heart. Uh, one is Anna. This is her Anna Persad. Anna played such a nuanced version of Un Dia de Noviembre for being 16. It really blew me away. Thoughtful, clever, rubato. Tasteful, bending of time. So I would like to Congratulate Anna on winning the Musicality Award and getting access for free to my online course, Classical Guitar Pro. But there's another person who really warmed my heart, and I feel that I have to give it to both of you. <laughs> um, this is Levente, and I love Hi, his Levante. video. My name is Levente, and I come from Hungary, from Europe. He's 12, and then he played a very beautiful and touching version of Lagrima. With a really nice touch on the instrument. He's only 12. And he's got this great intuition and ability to end a phrase. Listen to this. Do you hear how he pulled back at the end so perfectly? This is what we should be doing when we end a phrase. Usually it, it ends with a decrescendo. For 12, he's got that musical intuition. Uh, it's just uh, really great to see. So I can't help myself. I have to give. I have to make this a tie. <laughs> so Levente and Anna, you are both tied for third place. You both won the Musicality Award, and you're both going to get free access to my online course. And finally, for the first prize, my personal classical guitar drumroll. The winner is Sasha in Ukraine. This is Sasha. Uh, his story really uh, touched me. I mean, he had to seek asylum uh, because of the war in Ukraine, which is just terrible. He had to move to Germany. His guitar broke, <laughs> so he, he doesn't have a guitar. He's a self-taught player, uh, and 
Now he had to borrow a guitar just to play Hi, this. My name is Sasha. I'm from Ukraine. He, he had to play borrow a guitar just to play this video, uh, and then he did play. And when he played. To this great fingerstyle version of uh, a song from a video game in which he did percussion, fingerstyle, he played the bass line, the melody. He's got a lot of talent. And again, 15 years old. So much young talent in this contest. Also, unlike almost everybody in this competition, Sasha, you're probably the only one who doesn't actually have your own guitar since yours broke. So it would make me very happy to give you my guitar, which I know you're going to play so well. Uh, I want to wish you well and your family uh, with the, all that is happening uh, in Ukraine. To all of the winners, you'll be getting an email from me. Stay tuned for that. Check your spam folder and we'll talk about how to get those prizes. Thank you all for taking the time to vote, to submit your entries. My cheeks hurt so much from smiling. I've been sitting here for hours because there's 214 videos watching and just uh, smiling you guys are the best and this is the type of thing that really inspires me and makes me want to just keep doing this youtube thing as much as i can and keep giving back to you guys to say thank you all right that's all for today but please do subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell because i'm going to be doing more giveaways like this in the future i'm at half a million subscribers now so let's go four million and see what happens you guys are the best